Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy, or rather we're going to talk about how it seems like gaming journalists are just stepping over the controversy and talking about this game like it were any other game. Like it's, they should have done originally? Like they should have done originally. So it is safe now to talk about Hogwarts Legacy because of the sales records being smashed, the streaming records being smashed. Uh, the patriarchy wasn't smashed, but that's okay. You can't win them all, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a very interesting development. And again, we have seen this time and time again, especially in the last year or so, with a lot of these media outlets. These are the same ones that were constantly attacking YouTubers for being wrong thinkers. Uh, we, we've seen you know media outlets go after YouTubers or uh, write articles that were contrary to what YouTubers were talking about in regards to Marvel, in regards to Disney Star Wars. Uh, and now, now we're seeing it with Hogwarts Legacy. Now it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's perfectly safe now, guys. Right, so apparently. After everybody else paid the price, we'll, we'll talk about that because I, I got a little fired up today because everybody's going to pretend like, like people didn't get fired over this right? game. You know? Right. I know. It's wrong. Just pretend like it never happened, right? No apologies or anything. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 298,000, almost 300,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, so we've been covering Hog Hogwarts Legacy and all the drama around Hogwarts Legacy for months, years even. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about people that have gotten literally fired. Well, we've been talking about Hogwarts Legacy for years, but just drama around The drama the, around These it. game sites. And uh, we've talked about people that have gotten fired, people that have gotten canceled over it. And it's very uh, interesting if you go out to Google News. Now, most of the stories are very different than they were a month ago. Most uh -huh. of the stories are about the sales, about uh, tips and tricks for the game. Right? It's funny to me because, you know, and do all these sites have like, here's a tip or trick, but let me do, denounce J.K. Rowling in my article? Yeah, and they're not really doing that so much. They're, they might mention it in a sentence or two, but like this so one. So even if they give you tips and tricks, you have to uh, tricks, you have to denounce her every time you do any article. Apparently you do, but they didn't actually name her. She's been Voldemorted. Like this one from uh, Game Rant. Hogwarts Legacy could be this console generation Skyrim. Yeah, you can't deny that this game is incredibly popular. Over 12 million copies sold. That was like two weeks ago. I'm sure it's way, way more than that. $850 million in revenue. It's a massive, massive, massive hit. And nothing that these uh, video game journalists did to stop it worked. If, in fact, it probably had the opposite effect. <laughs> it probably made more people buy the game. But yeah, this is the only time they mention uh, rolling in this article. Despite facing controversy, Neil That's Gunn, all I said. Controversy. Yeah, Ho Hogwarts Legacy has been a resounding success in terms of sales and critical reception. They don't go to the end of the article and be like, here's how you support Give to the Trevor Project, basically. No, they do not. They oh, do not. Oh, they're going to be in trouble now because they didn't do their due diligence and make sure that, you know, you, you, you'd say you love the game, but you have to make sure that, you know, you support certain people and certain organizations. When this game was first released, if you dared do a review of the game, you had to put a paragraph somewhere prominently in your review denouncing JK Rowling and putting a link to uh, some sort of a trans charity or something, or you were a bad person. Oh, right, and then some writers you, that talked to you said that they were told that if they covered it, part of their money was gonna be taken to give into these charities whether they wanted to or not. Yes. And you know, that's what you had to do. You had to pay, you had to you know, make sure you paid that price to, to say anything about it and now you can just talk about it it's fine yeah you can just talk about like it's any other video game at this point well this they've is had, they had to take they've taken no loss personally no uh meanwhile people have gotten fired we're going to talk about youtubers got bullied off of the internet youtubers got bullied we had uh lots of other streamers get bullied and harassed doxxed over this game and now these gaming journals can just saunter in after the fact after the dust is you know, settled and mm -hmm. be like, hey, yeah, we'll just talk about this like an actual game, like any other video game. And never take any hits for it. Yeah. Never take any hits for it because it's safe now because it turned out that like so much of cancel culture, it was a very vocal minority of people that were screaming the loudest and the vast majority of people really didn't have any issue with the game whatsoever. Even people who don't agree with what J.K. Rowling said are like, you know, it's whatever. She's selling other stuff. It, she wasn't involved in this one a whole lot and whatever. I can I can live with it. Mm. Uh, the only outlet that's really gone hard in the paint on it is The Gamer. 
And that's because the uh, editor in chief got called out by the BBC. They had to apologize on behalf of Stacey Henley at The Gamer. And they keep writing these ridiculous hit pieces like, you should feel bad about Hogwarts Legacy, how we lost. You're literally killing people. Ah!" You know, and uh, meanwhile, Game Rant's like, yeah, here's some tips and tricks. You know, we're going to party like it's 2007 again. So, yeah, they're like, hey, uh, players have fallen in love with the magical world and many more don't want to leave so quickly. Uh, Avalanche Software has struck gold with the game and Hogwarts Legacy could be the beginning of a new franchise (laughs) and a very fruitful one. Even if it isn't the game alone, uh, it has the potential to endure for years as players explore Hogwarts and unravel its mysteries. It would not come as a surprise if, like Skyrim, a decade later, Hogwarts Legacy is being re-released. And re-re-released. That's hate speech! Re-re-re-re-released! Yeah. Um, Guys, J.K. Rowling is very, very wealthy, and she's going to continue to be very, very wealthy until the day she dies. And her kids are also going to be wealthy. And her grandkids are also going to be wealthy. Well, remember, according to certain outlets, those kids should be punched. That's right. Yeah, certain outlets think that her kids, you know, should be harmed. Their grandkids and stuff, yes. Um, for her, her tweets, over tweets. So it hasn't, again, it hasn't hit Nintendo Switch and PS4 and Xbox One. And, and those are the consoles that have the most mass market penetration. That sounds bad. It does sound bad. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy hasn't penetrated the the general public yet, but um, this is a failure of, of catastrophic proportions. Like I, I still cannot believe how badly this, this call for boycott backfired. Now, I mean, I knew it was going to backfire, but it backfired like, Oh yeah. Spectacularly. And this game is not going anywhere. This franchise is not going anywhere. Now, the problem I'm having as I look at these articles is Remember when all these media outlets, not all of them, but some of them were definitely trying to get certain people canceled, certain people fired, you know, Pepperidge Farm remembers, right? We're going to, we're going to talk a little bit about that because I don't think these people are ever going to get an apology. Oh, no, no, Um, they won't admit they're wrong. You know that. And, uh, you know, let's remember that Troy Levitt, who was the lead designer on the game working for Avalanche, was dogpiled by Polygon and Kotaku, to name a few. Mm -hmm. Uh, And they tried to make a connection between him and Gamergate because he made some videos like years ago that they did not like. And because of that, he was basically forced to leave the project to save the project for everybody else. He kind of had to take an early retirement, as I understand it. He's never going to get an apology. No. Like Warner Brothers. For whatever he lost from like, taking the retirement. Yeah. Uh, Warner Brothers should be apologizing to this guy because he did put a lot of work into this, this game. And um, that was back in 2021. Um, what about Sebastian Croft, who was the, the voice actor of one of the characters who Twitter loved this guy. They stand this guy. And that turned out, oh, my God, he did a voice in Hogwarts Legacy years before J.K. Rowling made the comment she made on Twitter. Right. But they tried to cancel him anyway. Like right. whatever oh, he should have known. He should have known. Whatever good he might have done in the eyes of the Twitter outrage mob was negated by by the uh, the voice gig he took three years prior. You know, and it's it's ridiculous. And they were trying to get him canceled. And uh, of course, we've got, you know, Carol Lynn, who there's actually an interview with her on clownfishtv.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike Phelan did an interview with her. But she was fired from Limited Run Games for simply saying she was excited about Hogwarts Legacy. Right, yes. And it was like one person like started this whole thing. It was the founder of BronyCon who has a long documented history of harassing people online because that one person was angry that the community manager for Limited Run Games was excited about Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, That person spent an inordinate amount of time pouring through Carolyn's tweet history to find something six or seven years ago that may or may not kind of sort of support, you know, firing her because, you know, we had, we had to come up with something and that's what they do. They're like, Oh, I think in the case of Troy Levitt, I think these gaming journals, honest to God thought if they, they got the lead fired off of Hogwarts, that the project would come to a halt or it would go off the rails or get pushed back or something. I think that was the thought process behind it. Like, let's all get together on Resetera 
and get Troy Levitt canceled. And then, oh, they'll just cancel the game because the lead's gone. Well, that's what they do. I mean, we, we've had people completely keep trying to link us to Gamergate for whatever reason over and over and over again. We had nothing to do with Gamergate. No, I don't. We weren't even, we weren't even doing videos like that then. We, no, we had a YouTube channel, but we were doing gameplay videos. I didn't even know Gamergate was a thing because it was, you know, for normies like us, it was a tempest in a teapot. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. I had given up on those video game websites years ago. The only uh, reason I had to go to video game websites was for walkthroughs or something like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't go for the hot takes. I wasn't paying any attention to Polygon or Joystick was around back then or any of these other stupid websites that popped up. I paid no attention to it. And outside of that, outside of internet drama, outside of 4chan or whatever the hell, uh, nobody cared. Nobody cared. The only thing that the general public has seen in recent years is that video game hot takes have gotten really freaking weird and weirdly political. Like, hey, I want to read a review about the PlayStation 5. Oh, okay, you can read a little bit of a review, and then I'm going to go into a rant about how awful Trump is. Right, or I don't like holes in my Xbox. I don't like holes in my Xbox. Some people like holes in their Xbox, but, you know. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, most people, this is like a non-issue. Most people are stepping over gaming journalists. I have to wonder, especially with... Uh, SVB Bank closing down and some of these companies having money in that bank and the domino effect if more and more uh, digital publishers will just look at this and be like, we don't even need digital games journalists because they've done nothing but cause us problems, potential lawsuits. But they might have drawn, you know, drew views though when they were trying to like go the opposite way and call everybody names. Well, that's what it was. It was it was basically you know outrage marketing and, and click farms and, and now it's not working because the ad rates aren't there. You know, the ad revenue is not there. It doesn't matter if you got 200,000 people coming in reading your stupid hot take if you're not getting paid for it. Yeah. You know, well, some people, they didn't care if they got paid. No, they didn't care. They, they don't care. They, the, the magazine or the journal, they work for cares, but they don't care. Then that's the problem. They didn't care about the company they worked for and they would do whatever they had to. And I wonder, like, how many of the corporate owners were actually paying attention to the garbage that was being published? You know, they were just like, oh, the views are good. The ad rates are good. I don't care. It's like, I'm like, I'm waiting for the lawsuits to start pouring in to be like, hey, all these video game outlets. Yeah, they defame me. And now I can't get work in the video game industry. So uh, I'm going to sue you for what I would have made if I could have stayed in the industry. I probably would do that if it were me. But I'm just saying. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Um, this is really interesting. And, uh, you know, just all the way around, like we are starting to see the mainstream media get in line with things that people like us have been saying for years and there are never going to be any apologies nope. for it. So it is what it is, guys. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.